everyone, my name is Scott Griffin with Carlson Software. Today I'll be showing you in Point Clouds how to get volumes back into CAD. I'll be using Carlson Civil to do that. Well, you can see from my site here that I've got a stockpile of coal. So what I want to do here is rotate this up. I'm going to move from the Project tab over to the Action tab. Inside of here, I, I need to pick my selection set, so I'll pick Polyline. What I'll do is start picking points going around my site which you can see right here. You can see the yellow line which lets you know where you're picking. And I'll pick right here and we'll cut across right through here. Now on my last click that I do, I just right mouse click. It's going to highlight everything in red for me so I can go over here and pick the end mode. When I do that, I can go right down to where it says create and I can create a mesh. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and pick mesh. In here, it'll make a mesh 01. So I'll go ahead and pick the checkbox down at the bottom. And it's creating my mesh uh, for this project here. Now, that'll be for the coal pile. It's writing out the faces and it's done. Now, we have a command in the selection set, which this is a great tool for getting volumes, is I can pick the invert tab. When I pick the invert tab, you can notice it's highlighted on the outside. So I'll go ahead and pick Mesh on here, where it says Create. And we'll create a Mesh 02 here, which I'll hit the checkbox. And it'll create the Mesh. Now this is going to be my existing. That's going to be a flat 10 going a, across the site um, from the red area. So that's done. Now I'll just go ahead and close down Scene 02 here, and we'll go back to Project. And inside of Mesh 01, I'll go ahead and right mouse click, and we'll go to Export. So when I go to export here, I need to type in a name for my 10 file. Well, I'm going to call this final. This is my final uh, 10. And it, it'll create the vertices and the faces, and it'll write out the 10 surface, which it's done. Now on the mesh 02, I'll come over to export. And this is going to be my existing. So I'm just going to call it EX for existing here for 10. I'll pick the save button, which will actually write out that information for me. And it's, it's reading the faces, and it's done. All right, I'll save my project now, close down Point Clouds, and I'll go right into Civil. In the Civil, I will go to Surface, Volumes by Triangulation, by two Triangulation Surface Volumes. So what I have here is it's asking me for my existing. So I pick the EX Surface. And it's uh, analyzing the tin structure on it. Now it's asking me to pick the final surface, so I pick final. And it's loading its tin information. Now it's asking me for an inclusion exclusion area. I'll just pick the inner key and go through that. Now my swell factor, I'll leave that at one. My fill shrink factor at one. I can report different volumes in here. I can check on for reporting tons. I'll leave the box like it is and just pick OK. Now what this is going to do is write out all of my volume calculations for me for this stockpile. And it's doing it in a prismodal format. Something like this could take anywhere from 30 seconds uh, up to 2 to 3 minutes depending on your site, how large it is or how small it is. You can see down here in the progress bar we're about 87% right now. And here's my final volumes here. If you look here, I've got a cut of 117.48 cubic yards. I've got a fill volume of 11,787. So that's my volumes here. Now what I can do with this is I have a couple of different options. I can do the screen pick, which I can set it up as M text in CAD. And I can just pick my um, pick a point, set the rotation. I can also print this out to a printer, and I can pick the save. Well, I'm going to exit this, and when I do that, it prints my information out. Okay. Now, if you notice here, I have 11,784 and 117 cubic yards of cut. From the surveyor who did this, he ended up with uh, 306 in the cut, and he ended up with 11,561 in the uh, area, so in the field. Now, one thing about it is a little bit different than mine than his is that I know on this site they put more coal on top of the site. 
So anyway, that's the way you can get volumes inside of Carlson Point Clouds working with Carlson Civil. Thank you.